Hey everybody, welcome back to a brand new video. And in today's video, we're going to be having a look at the Halloween 2018 Ultimate Michael Myers action figure from NECA. This figure was re released a few years ago, back in Halloween of 2018, when the film came out. Um, yeah, this figure is awesome and it includes a light-up flickering pumpkin. On the side, you got Halloween, NECA Real Toys, and a picture of Michael at the top. On the back, you get a few pictures of Michael with his accessories and things like that. At the bottom, you get a little read up here at the bottom. It says, it's been 40 years since Lori Strode survived a vicious attack from crazed killer Michael Myers on Halloween night. She now faces a terrifying showdown when Michael returns to Haddonfield. Three, but this time, Lori is ready for him. Includes knife, hammer, fire poker, tombstone, a victim head, light up pumpkin, interchangeable head and hands fantastic so yeah that is uh, the little read up there on the box and yeah so uh without further ado let's get this figure opened up and have a closer look at him all right so here we have the figure out of the box um now uh, this is the reissue version i want to make that clear this is not the original halloween 2018 figure um it was reissued a few years back um, and that's what this version is. It's the reissue. Um, I did want to, at one point have an original version, but unfortunately I do not have it anymore. So, um, but yeah, let's get into the accessories. So the first thing he comes with is a Judith Myers tombstone. I don't know why it has this little stand here at the bottom. I guess that's just so you can stand it up. Um, yeah, uh, this one is this, I don't know how to explain it. It's like this is a very smooth type of plastic material. It says, Our beloved daughter, Judith Myers, born November 10th, 1947, died October 31st, 1963. Now, I believe on the original uh, NECA Halloween figure they released for Halloween 1, um, one of them came with a tombstone, and it said October 31st, 1965. So it's a good thing that, you know, that they fixed that. It's got some nice detailing and dirt work on the side. It's got some engravings right here. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a pretty cool thing that it comes with. Um, it also comes with a flickering pumpkin. Um, you can turn it on now. Again, the original Evolution of Evil, Michael, and thing like, things like that came with these light-up pumpkins. This one, you just push the thing down on top, and it, uh, it'll flicker, which is very cool. I've never been a particular big fan of this pumpkin. Uh, I don't like the heart, the heart eyes and things like that. The upside-down heart is the nose. I, I, I like the classic... Uh, Michael Myers pumpkin, but this is still cool. Um, he also comes with a interchangeable, well, it's not an interchangeable head, but a victim's head. Um, funnily enough, this is the guy who created the mask for the movie, Christopher Nelson. Um, in the film, he's playing a cop character, and he gets turned into a jack-o'-lantern, literally. So some great detailing on that. You see, like, half his nose is gone. His eyeballs have been cut out. His teeth are out. It's just gruesome. Michael has some fantastic off-screen kills in this film. It's unreal. And this is one of them. You can see his head's completely hollowed out. Very nasty. Very, very nasty. All right, um, for weapons, he comes with a hammer. A little different from the Halloween 2 type hammer. It's got a little bit of blood on the uh, edge there. Pretty cool. And he comes with a bloody knife. Um, now, you know, he gets this knife uh, per, like halfway through the film. And I remember when seeing this knife for the first time in the trailers, I just thought it looked so stupid. Only because it's so, it's just so tiny. This is a very small knife, um, which is unfortunate. But um, And then he comes with three interchangeable hands. Um, he's got this one, which is kind of just a relaxed hand. It's got some blood on it. He comes with a open grabbing hand. It's got some splotches of blood on there on the hands. And then he comes with a gripping hand. With some more blood on it. Very nice. All right, so uh, let's have a look at the figure itself. So here we got Michael from Halloween 2018. Um, I love how they added like this. He looks a little chunkier there in the stomach because obviously Michael's an older man. And in the movie, he does look a bit chunkier um, in the film. 
Um, and so I think they captured that perfectly with this figure right here. I, I love the head sculpt on it. It's it's a it just perfectly captures Halloween 2018. It's it's a little bit white, I'd say. I, it could be a little bit of a darker um, or more of a yellow color with some browns in there. I think. I think that would have been cool. Um. But yeah, overall, it's a pretty, it's a pretty good head sculpt um, of Michael Myers. It's it's it captures it very very well. Um, articulation, he's got double jointed elbows. He's got a joint in the knee, which is a little rough because it's straight out packaging. Um, his arms can go up and down. His legs can go back and forth. He's got a full ball jointed head like that. Um, his, his feet do have a little bit of articulation. They can go up and down and like that. Same with his wrists. But yeah, this is just a, this is an awesome, awesome figure. Um, I would definitely recommend getting it. It looks just perfect to how he looks in the movie. It's, it's a perfect appearance. Um, you can put his knife in his hand. Like so, here we go. Well, he's giving me a hard time. There we go. Put his knife in his hand like that. He looks great. He just looks freaking awesome. And it looks just like the film. It just looks freaking amazing. Um, definitely one of my favorite NECA figures. I, I love all their Meyer stuff that they do. I think it just looks so cool. Let's see if we can put the head in his hand. Let's see how that. Let me try and get this. There we go. So he can hold his head like that. <laughs> that is just freaking awesome. But yeah, I think they're I think their Myers figures are just so freaking badass. It's a shame there's not as many as like the Jasons. Um, hopefully they will make more. I know the Halloween Ends figure is on its way, um, which is great. I cannot wait to do a review on that and pick that up. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to rate, comment, subscribe, like the video if you liked it, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.